Hi there! Say hello to Yumtastic Hero plugin for Adobe XD. With Hero, you can easily create anything, from simple animated icons, to banner ad campaigns with variations and click tag integrations, to full-blown interactive and animated experiences. Let's have a quick look at some more demos created with Hero, before I will show you the simple user interface and workflow. Here we go! Many of these demos were created by our amazing community and as part of our creative workshops. And yes, they were all created without ever leaving Adobe XD. Already convinced? Get your version now. Or stay tuned for a quick over-the-shoulder live demo. So now let me give you a quick tour over the uh, Yamtastic Hero plugin, the UI and the workflow. So I have prepared this very short demo here. It's a very uh, interesting project. It's very simple. It doesn't take long, but it covers all different aspects from effects over the timeline, previewing and even scripting. So buckle up. So as I said, I've created this composition. It's nothing fancy, just a couple of images. Uh, they were created in Photoshop. Um, so let's assemble this quickly so we have a, a base project here we can place this uh, hotspot here we can duplicate this so we have uh, one for each chamber here so let's open Yumtastic Hero plugin so we can go to the plugin section down here and then you will see the first time you open it you will see uh, that the plugin if you have installed it it will appear here so this is what Yumtastic looked like very clean UI it's context sensitive, so whenever we change something, we will see the result here. So let's start with a very simple thing. Let's add an effect in the behavior section for this um, hotspot here. So let's click plus. Then you will see you have a bunch of effects you can apply. So let's start with the magnet effect, very simple one. Let's do that for the second hotspot as well. Click on magnet. And that's uh, the first thing we can preview. So let's click preview. And the first time you click preview, you will see that this dialog pops up and it's the URL you need to preview. So just click on this, it will be copied, and then you can go to the browser of your choice. In this case, it's Chrome, but Firefox and Safari also work. So we see this is the project uh, in the browser and you can see this is the magnet effect. And the great thing already is, you can see up here, it's already HTML. So I can prove that if you're a developer, you would uh, do something like this. So you can inspect this, you will see all the code, so it's all the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript here. Um, so it's already a shareable HTML5 package that can be integrated in WordPress or whatever you uh, CMS you're using. As a designer, you don't have to care about that. So let's close that again. So in this case, let's uh, move back to our project. So in, yeah, we already covered the magnet effect. So effect systems are basically one-click solutions, super straightforward. So the next thing is a little bit more complicated, but also more powerful. So let me introduce you to the timeline. So if I click on this uh, hotspot here, I can now see the timeline section here. And the first thing I do is always adding the selection, the selected element to this timeline. So I can do that. So it will appear here. So it's called group seven. That's not a good idea. So let's call this hotspot one. And you can see it changes here automatically. So now we can add a track, an animation track to this hotspot by clicking this plus icon here. So we have different um, property tracks we can choose from. So in this case, let's take the X position and let's also add another one for opacity. So you can see this is the X track and this is the opacity track. And now we can simply choose the time, the starting point. So in this case, one second, and I can one uh, do a one click, a single click on the X track that adds this animation. So this is already an animation. It's from zero to zero, which does not make much sense because it's not moving and everything is relative to this position. So we can click on this now and now we can say minus 100, which means this element should start um, 
100 uh, pixels to the left. We can choose from all kinds of easings here. If you don't know what that is, not a big deal. Uh, you can just uh, find out by um, playing around with it. You can then adjust the time of this animation like this. And we can create another animation here. Let's say the opacity should go from 0 to 1. So it's from 0 to 1 instead of 100%. So 100% equals a value of 1. 50% equals to a value of um, 0 0.5. And now we can click preview again and the browser will automatically update and you can see here I can refresh it so you can see this nice animation. So that's how you use the timeline. You can do the same for the second one. Uh, you could uh, animate some titles maybe and you have some more uh, options here so you can easily copy animations from one, from one element to another. You can use the animation shifter to um, create more complex uh, animation choreographies. And that's it. Uh, that's how you use the timeline. So let's move over to the final part, which is the interactivity part. So we can use IDs, CSS IDs in this case, which is basically nothing more than uh, using a hash icon, or hash um, character in front of the name. So this is our hash door one. So it's the ID door one, and this is door two. So now let me introduce you to the final part which is scripting or actions. So how to create an action in Hero is pretty simple. So you select the element again, the same as with effects and, uh, and timeline animations. So now we can go over to actions slash scripts. So that's basically what we can do. So now the script editor opens up and we can now use JavaScript or Greensock, uh, also known as uh, GZAP. And it's pretty straightforward. You can First, select the trigger. So our script should be executed uh, whenever the user clicks on this hotspot. We can use JavaScript here, or we can use the snippets, which is obviously much simpler. So we can go over to the element section and we can toggle the visibility of another element. That's what we want to do. So we can click on that and now a little bit of JavaScript will be generated. And we don't have to fully understand what's going on here. The only thing we need to know is we need to change the element name here. So it was door one, so that's it. And before we do anything else, we have to select this item here, which is already uh, animating, but we want to give it an effect. And the effect is it should be invisible at the beginning, right? So we don't want to start with an open chamber here. So let's add that. And now if I click preview, you will see now this layer is not visible at the beginning, so it looks like it's closed. And now we have this hover effect still here. And now if I click it, it opens. And if I click it again, it closes again. So that was, uh, or this is basically the result of this script. So we didn't even have to write it on, on, your, uh, on our own. We just had to take it from the snippet section. So there are plenty of more snippets. Um, and we could do the same uh, for this one but I think you get the point. And that's how you create full-blown HTML5 content that is fully animated and also interactive. Obviously, you can do much more with Yumtastic Hero, but I want, just wanted to give you a very short uh, introduction so you get an idea of how Yumtastic Hero feels if you really use it on a daily basis. So I can't wait to see what you guys will be building with this because you guys are the real creatives here. So stay tuned. Uh, and hopefully uh, see you again soon.